Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Round two, let's begin. This is just a piece of plastic shaped in a non-symmetrical way, such that if you spin it counterclockwise, oh, it spins it's an asymmetrical rattleback. Freely until friction slowly brings it to a stop. But if you spin it clockwise, the plastic will start to rattle, stop, and then spin the opposite direction. Yeah, that's a neat physics toy that takes advantage of its asymmetric mass distribution. In reactor physics, we call this negative feedback. When it flips spin directions, when conditions are wrong, a nuclear reactor will push back if it gets too hot due to the Doppler effect, which is a nice natural feedback mechanism. If you accidentally highlight something in a book you didn't want to mm. highlight, fear not, because you can just grab a lemon, squeeze some juice out, and then carefully apply some lemon juice to the highlight, and the highlight will no longer be visible. That's situational. Lemon juice is acidic, so it can sometimes bleach out certain dyes, but I wouldn't rely on it. Bit like claiming you can erase radiation with lemon juice. If you got cesium-137 contamination, please don't use a lemon. If you take a lit match and bring it near the changing magnetic field of a strong magnet that is attached to a spinning drill, this changing magnetic field is enough to extinguish the flame. No. Changing magnetic fields can induce currents in conductors, but not blowing out flames. A flame is hot gas and plasma, and it can interact with strong magnetic fields, but this setup here is way too weak. Magnetic fields don't smother flyers, and this sort of magic is up there with the myth that nuclear power plants can explode like bombs. No. You've seen all three videos, fake. videos now. Pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. That means spinning a strong magnet with a drill will not extinguish <laughs> a burning match. 